Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials and this week I'll be showing you how to add custom fonts into your project. Now if you haven't noticed already when you are selecting a font in your project you are only able to use a handful of fonts and this is because your project only reads the fonts from Xcode so if you want custom fonts you have to manually install them yourself. So the first thing we need to do is get a font, which I have one on the desktop here. It needs to be in a TTF or an OTF format. Simply download one off the internet or just go into your font book on your Mac. But once you've got one, just create a project. This is a view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it custom fonts for the purpose of this tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is drag and drop our new font into our project and make sure you copy it, copy it to the destinations group folder press finish there and then once it's in your project you need to go into our support and files just here and into our info.plist where we have to tell our application that we've installed it and we would like to use it so just click on the last bar at the bottom and then click on the plus symbol to add a new line at the bottom and we need to find the one font called fonts provided by application which is just here and then once you've added that just click the arrow so it drops down and in the first string here just double click it and type out the name of your font including the extension so one is called technoid and it's all in capitals we type in technoid and the extension which is .ttf save that if you want to add more than one font into your application, just simply click on the item zero here and just keep pressing the plus symbol so it brings up more and more strings and you just manually keep adding them as you go along. So then once you've done that, you can save that and then go into your viewcontroller.h where we put our outlet for our label which I'll be demonstrating. You can use custom fonts and quite a few things from like text fields to text views anything that really contains text basically so we start by typing IV outlet I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better space UI label space asterisk and I'll name the label simply label easy enough to understand and we can save that and zoom out now if we go to our custom custom font view controller dot n and we need to uncomment the view did load which is just here I was zooming for you simply get rid of the two comments on the start and the end of it and just after the first curly bracket we need to type in bracket then the name of our label which I name mine label space set font and then in the highlight section here we do bracket capital UI font space font with name and in the ns string here we type in the name of our font so we do the at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in between the two quotation marks put the name of our font which mine is technoid and in the size this is where we can put the size of our font which is a pretty decent size of 32 and finish out with two brackets to close up all the coding and end that with a semicolon and that is all the coding that's needed. So if you want to pause it, catch up on the code there. I'll just zoom out there. So now if we go into our .xib where we add our label in. So to bring up our utilities, just press the square at the top of the grey shaded rectangle on the right. And just simply drag in a label. Make it drag it a little bit bigger so there's enough room to fit our the size of our font which we put it as 32. And just click on the file zoner and drag our new outlet of our label straight to our label. Once we've done that, we can save that and go straight to build and run. Where we can see our new custom font onto our label. Uh, like I said before, this does work on anything from text fields to text views, 
Anything really that contains text, you can jump to it. So it's quite handy for creating quite unique apps. And there we have it. Our custom font installed into our project and set to our label. So I hope this helps you in any of your projects or apps at the moment. But that's it this week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week in the next tutorial. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out and most importantly if you haven't make sure you subscribe.